If you're a girl and turn down a guy because you wanted him to try harder, you're an asshole. A few months ago, I saw a post on some relationship advice sub. I turned a guy down because I wanted him to try harder. But now he stopped approaching me. What do I do now? More than a few people pointed out an entire generation of men have been raised with the idea that no means no. And that no means no does underscore go both ways. I mean. Don't say no when you don't mean it. It's really not that hard. Yeah. From a man's point of view. It's impossible if no sometimes means no and no sometimes means I like you. But I want you to try harder. Teehee. So if you say no to me. I'm going to interpret that as no and move on with my life. Yep. If she says no I back off. If she says she didn't mean no and is mad I backed off. Then I end it. I don't want someone who can't respect me enough to have the maturity to communicate. Edit. I said she because I date women but this applies to anyone. If they can't communicate then drop them before they make the relationship about you playing where's Waldo, except their feelings are Waldo, and you are miserable. Preach. I can add that girls who play hard to get also harm the girls who really mean it when they say no. Because some men get the experience of asking the question 20 times and getting the answer they want at the last try and next time they don't know when to stop or when a girl is really being serious. For real. Been told by men to kill myself, literally, when I continued to be not interested after initially saying no I'm not interested, because they must have been thinking oh this is just a strategy I suppose. People need to just say what they mean in the first place more often. I exploded once, and told the guy to f off, and learn self respect and now thinking back I feel a little bad. Realizing he really thought he was doing it the right way. The worst that they can do is say no. Biggest fucking lie I was ever told. Worst thing they can do is falsely accuse you of rape and getting imprisoned 4 years at worst or getting your reputation ruined and forever labeled as a sex offender at best. I mean if you're really gonna include everything you might as well just say worst they can do is murder you in cold blood. Not likely though. Emo if a girl turns you down because you didn't try hard enough. You dodged a bullet in the sense that the whole relationship would be full of double standards. Exactly. Anyone who puts tests into their relationship doesn't deserve one. It's usually the insecure and hurt people that give tests. Having spent a fair amount of time around women and men that are good with women, I can tell you there's no such thing as hard to get. There's either they like you or they are just playing with you. I think they are getting themselves comfortable. In my experience many girls don't like to say yes right away. It makes them feel easy. So they say no or will refuse guys initially. If a guy continues after her despite his failure it shows he really likes her. Girls make guys go on x number of dates before sex. There are lots of weird things girls do. Those kind of games don't work today. Guys today have had no means no beaten into their heads. So guys aren't sticking around to find out if no really means yes. They're gone. This is what woman wanted. If a woman tells you to try harder, just walk away. No woman is ever worth getting a chance to be accused of sexual assault. What a broad generalization. Not everyone has functional legs. You had me on the first part. Not gonna lie. If you don't have functional legs, then lie you must. You don't want a woman that plays those kind of games. I'd say she did you a favor. Honestly if she's the prettiest woman, or if he's the hottest guy, and acts all entitled to you, and plays with you, you're better off without them. Life is too short for mean people. Be yourself. Constantly improve yourself, and you'll find someone that does the same. Unless you stay under a rock. I mean you do have to join some clubs or hobbies to meet someone usually. Close bracket. Most people forget to mention the last part, so credit to you. As someone with adult autism, this is confusing. Why wouldn't a woman just be upfront? Being pursued is medicine for her low self-esteem. No means no why. Didn't they try harder? WTF. Been married 8 years. Had a few girlfriends before that and let me tell you. If you have to work really hard for the relationship to last, it's not worth it. 
My wife and I worked out because we are just happy with one another as we are. I don't have to impress her or go out of my way for her. Don't get me wrong. I do my best to do those things for her sometimes. For example, I will surprise her with dinner or leave a letter for her on the fridge or buy flowers or something. But it's not because I'm trying to win her over. I already won her over 8 years ago. No, I do these things now because I love her and that's it. If a girl turns you down because you didn't try hard enough, then relax. She won't be worth it anyway. There is a girl out there for you who will accept you for who you are without you having to be extra. Try harder as in trying harder to pursue her or trying harder to show that he's serious about her? What's the context? I would like to know if a guy is serious about me to be in a relationship with him. Or try harder as in, if you want me to date you, you're going to have to offer more than Netflix and chill. Because I think that's entirely reasonable. I think it's you want to date me, get on your knees and beg type of thing. In my experience, a lot of men interpret I want to do more than watch Netflix and F every time we are together as I expect you to go to the ends of the earth for me and act exactly like every man in a romantic comedy. That's not what I'm talking about, though. I'm talking about what I think try harder means. I believe that what a serama is saying isn't what it actually is. And when they say try harder, it's more of a to date me, beg me thing. Next level is the girl who tells a guy no. 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 No and no. But the second that dude has a gf she is all over him in the most inappropriate ways. That bb crazy yo. That's even worse because she's disrespecting his boundaries in the relationship. Absolutely psycho. How is this unpopular? Because every girl I talk to thinks guys should go to the ends of the world and slay metaphorical dragons just for them. But then again I do live a new tour. Same over here in the UK. You know how some women are over sexualized in video games. Well in romcoms the same applies to men. This means we are expected to do stuff like give up our dream job and stuff lime. That for a woman with is a fucking stupid idea. Any reasonable person who rejects someone for not trying is a gullible. Brainwashed asshole who has unreal expectations of people. Romcoms are to romance as hardcore pornography as to sexual relationships. Post it in show her thoughts if it hasn't been before. Girl here. And just want to say that this goes both ways. If you're a guy and expect the girl to try harder. You're an asshole just the same. A lack of reciprocation of effort is a hard pass. Yes I agree. Does my life matter? Backslash backslash sad face. As a girl I never understood this and probably never will. They pull this type of nonsense but then when they give a real no and the guy pursues then all of a sudden it's harassment. It's so childish and gets a lot of people into trouble for no reason. I feel that people who do this just have trouble communicating altogether, and you shouldn't be involved with them anyway. That's just toxic sexuality that's taught to us. Men and women experience it, and so do gay people and trans people. So don't feel too upset at the person. Just drop her and get away. If you're experiencing this over and over, you're interacting with a general type of person that is shallow people to begin with. I met a girl who did the other kind of withholding similar to what other women have tried. So that I'll do favors for them, or compliment them, or do any amount of satisfaction they want. She led me on over the course of years. Every time I saw her, we would talk openly with each other about our attraction to each other. It got to the point where she said yes we could date. And then she immediately got with someone else. Come to find out she's got a reputation. One guy put his hand through a glass door over the heartbreak apparently. She still hurt my feelings. Which is hard to admit, but I got played. For what? Maybe she just needs attention. Gotta figure that out on her own now. Don't let it get to you. Anyone. It's important to identify the behavior. Both in yourself and the other person. That is causing this to happen. I ask myself. What am I missing on the inside that made me believe this person? Unpopular opinion, if you're acting like an asshole, you're an asshole. Surprised Pikachu. Like for real people don't understand how much courage some people gotta muster up to ask them out. Seriously. I always mention to my female friends. Ever notice guys at the bar are way more rude at 12am than they were at 9pm. 
it's because they not only got rejected a few times, but it wears on you having to ask and ask and ask and get next to nothing even kind in return. Alcohol doesn't help either, but the point remains. It's fucking tough to ask people out, and after a few slaps to the face it's humiliating. People will just start throwing s at the wall at some point, and seeing what sticks.